Thank you.
Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. It's all about a masterclass for the next couple of hours, which is excellent because it means we look at sort of one type of product over a full two hour show, which is great. Today it's all about flower forming. Loads of flower forming items for you on the show, whether it's dyes, foam that you need. We've got you absolutely covered for everything you could possibly need. And we've got lots of inspiration covered as well because Michelle's here with me. How are you, Michelle? I'm very well, thank you. I had a lovely cup of tea. I've had a bit of... Breakfast, lunch, breakfast, lunch. Bit breakfast. Of lunch, yeah. I have one in the afternoon. Yeah. What did you have? I had this this yogurt thing with these like cluster nut cluster things in it. It was and stra dried strawberries. It was very love nice. a nut cluster. Sounds delicious. <laughs> uh, what sort of thing are we going to be looking at then uh, over the next couple of hours? Uh, everything flowers. So we've got lots of um, your foams, your, your flower dyes. We've got a bit of Sharon Callis uh, thrown in there with the, um, her quilling flowers, so lots Brilliant. of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Let's share with you then uh, what we have got coming up. We are going to start, firstly, with the spring collection. You actually get five different flower dyes within here. I'm gonna show you a few of them here. So this one here is your delicate crocus which is the first one you get. Now these are big flowers, these. So what you're getting in here is you're getting a selection of dyes. You're also then getting stencils too. So you've got your crocus. Oh, hello. This one is the ranunculus that you can see just there. And you've also got the hydrangea in here. Two of our smaller original dyes in there for you as well, which are these two just here. So you will get your peony in here and you'll also get the clover in there as well, which is brilliant. So both of those come included. Uh, you're getting foam, of course, in there. Two different uh, sets of foam and you are getting all of the dyes. And you get the stamens in there as well, which is wonderful. Great price for you, saving you 16 pounds and change, or uh, 22.65, which is brilliant. Uh, right, next up, we're gonna go and have a little look at the uh, winter, uh, autumn winter one, which we've got over here. Brilliant here, because these again, big, big dyes within this one. Let me show you the uh, four different dyes that you're getting in this particular collection. So you're gonna get this one. This is your autumn leaves that you can see just here. And it makes these wonderful clusters if you want to. You can just um, add them to different projects as well. They, they really help to ground your floral projects. You've got holly here as well. You'll also receive the poinsettia, which is this one. And finally, you will get as well the pine cone here too. Uh, really beautiful dyes in there, perfect for this time of year. You are going to get two lots of the foam in here and you're going to get two lots of the stamens as well. So you get two lots of foam and two lots of the stamens in there. So 24 sheets in total here. We'll show you that in just a second. Uh, and also two packets uh, of those stamens. There you are. So you've got the um, foam and the stamens. You've got the foam, there we are. The foam and the stamens. <laughs> right, uh, lots of you, uh, lots of you getting in touch, uh, saying hello. I want to whiz through some of the other products that are coming up in this show as well. So we've got a six die collection for you in this particular one just here. Now, this gets you the peony, clover, foliage, holly, ivy, and the autumn leaves in there. So if you've got plenty of foam, uh, you, just want to, you want some new dyes in your life, then this is definitely the one for you. Uh, if you want the ball tools as well, they are really large, these ball tools, because they're a slightly different one uh, to a sort of parchment tool, much, much larger to get you that really great shape. We're going to give you the petal distress tool totally free of charge as well. So make sure you grab a hold of that. Brilliant price of 14 99 or 19 uh, Loads of you tuning in and saying hello. Remember, you can get in touch with us very easily. Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion, if you are across on YouTube. Uh, don't forget also, Double Points Weekend, all weekend here on Crafters TV and across 
the entire website. You get double points on absolutely everything. Uh, so whereas you'd normally get one point for a pound or a dollar, you will get two, which is awesome. Thea's in from the Netherlands saying hi. Uh, Janice is in from West Virginia. Pam E is in New York. Mary Ryan is in Maine. Uh, um, S Rooks is here in New Jersey as well. Felicia's in. Have a guess where Felicia is. Ohio, Ohio, Felicia. Uh, Patty's in California and Georgianne is tuning in from Clearwater, Florida too. Ros Rosalind's in Maryland. Uh, right then, uh, Michelle, I think it's going to be one of those uh, masterclasses where we get an awful lot of questions because yeah. Uniflower form is one of those things that a lot of us do. Maybe a lot of you haven't tried yet. You've been uh, a little bit resistant. You don't fully understand it. Or maybe you're doing it and you've just got a burning question. Get those into me. We'll do a little bit of a Q&A uh, on flower forming as we go through this masterclass. But where would you like to start, Michelle? So we'll start at the beginning. No, literally. So these are some of um, the dyes that we first brought to you. Um, am I shouting? I felt like I was shouting then. Just a little bit passionate. Mm. <laughs> I love flower farming. Um, so this is the clover and the peony. So these are um, two of the first ones that we did bring to you. And I've got the floral bouquet foam with me and then the floral bouquet um, stamens. So we will... We will start out nice, uh, nice and simple. Uh, show you, get you all excited, as excited as me for this foam and these flowers. So you get seven different colours in there, but I don't want all seven. I'm just going to pick this lovely pink and this um, peachy colour. And again, so you, the, I'll bring both these dyes in. There is three sizes in each one, so it enables you to make nice little buds or nice full flowers with all three layers in there. So we will cut some of each of those out. And these, the reason that these are one of my favourites is because you can do so many uh, basic flowers with these. So I uh, don't know if you caught me earlier, uh, just using that one dye. It's just, it's a lot easier to make more than one flower with the one dye than you think. Okay. So let's just get this on here. And again, so this foam, it, it being as thin as it is, uh, you can cut these dyes. I mean, I'm just doing it in four, folding it over into four, but it will cut through. We did it a little while ago, up to eight sizes, up eight folds. Layers. So you get, yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, don't feel like you have to run it through and you're just bringing out one at a time. It definitely just cut through a lot. So let's get that run through, making sure that they're all on my foam and straight. A brilliant thing about these as well, I'm guessing most of these will go through your, you know, mini, like your small, really small machines, yes. your tiny machines. Yeah. All the way through, and again, so even going through that, you can fold your foam over four, six times and it'll go through your mini. Um, just as, as well as it has this one. Right. So, oh, it's stuck on. So just pulling these off. And again, so just taking all my dies away. Put them to the side and just pop it through. And as you can see, it's cut through so easy. Um, that was just four layers, but like I said, it, it will cut through more. Um, so the easiest way to separate it is just get the edge of your petal and give it a wiggle. And you can see straight away that it just separates. Perfect. It's important we separate, I'm guessing, then before we start working with it. It is, yeah. yeah you want all your, your petals separate because you're going to work with them one at a time. Amazing. Do you know what I'd love to see in this hour? I'd love to see some pictures of people's uh, floral makes at I home, would. wouldn't you? I think it'd be really lovely if you could share some of the things you've made using any of the flower forming items. Uh, send those in to us. It's uh, studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Uh, attach a picture to that. Pop it over to us and we'll share some of those as we go through the show, which will be lovely. Yeah, I love to see what other people have made and what are the flowers that some of you may have come up with using these dyes. So, for instance, uh, there's the peony and the clover here, but have, what have you particularly made with these ones? So, Laura so Jane's what, already sent a picture to him. Oh, oh I mean, perfect. Check Laura Jane out. Perfect. So, bringing in all the tools that you will need to do this. Um, so I've got my hot glue gun that's heating up for me. I've got my iron. Um, we recommend um, a medium to a high heat. 
uh, just because that's uh, that's just the best heat. <laughs> Can we just use the craft, best something like a craft iron if you want to? If you've got a craft iron, perfect. I bought um, a travel iron from Argos for £8, so you don't have to... <laughs> well, I, I, from that, that catalogue company. Um, yeah whose name I didn't mention, <laughs> uh, but it, it was £8, so you don't need to have a specialist iron if you yeah. haven't got one. Uh, I've stopped going to uh, Argos because um, if anyone's been to Manchester and tried to navigate the Arndale Centre, I think the Argos section of the Arndale Centre is just a mythical creature. <laughs> I, don't think it's, I don't know if it's just a legend that it exists, but I'm telling you what, I've lived there two years again now, and I lived there for a year before, I still don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's right in the middle of town, can't find it. It's somewhere, it. it's there somewhere. Right, so what you're going to do first, so I've got my iron on its, um, I think I've got it on a medium, medium to high, entirely up to you. So my little, so this kit here, your foam pad will be the, the white one. This is the one I'm just using from my brush kit at the minute. But there's your ball tools and there's um, your distressing tools there. So these are what you're going to need to make brilliant flowers. So all we're going to do is, I use my tweezers because I don't put my fingers near the um, iron you might be a bit braver than me so you're literally just going to put it on and you're going to you could see straight away that's curled and fallen off excellent so I'll just hold it a little a little while longer and there you go it's fallen off so I'm just going to get my big ball tool and on each petal I'm just going to do these circular motions and that just curves it all up um, but the circular motions are sort of to bringing it in so as I'm doing it I'm sort of coming in with it not out so again just in a circular motion and it's just bringing it in and you can see straight away it's curved curved right up so that was the largest i'm gonna get the medium one and again just gonna place it against the iron and you can see it shrinking and again so i'm going to do exactly the same thing on each petal just circular motions towards the middle of the petal rather than the outside oh, and they, they are a bit staticky so it gets stuck to you so there you go and again it's done exactly so the same just repeating that process very simple just repeating isn't it? that process yeah Deborah yeah. Bamford saying hi everyone from very windy Lancaster it's very windy here in the northeast in the uh, Costello County Durham let me assure you uh, Nina says good morning from northeastern Pennsylvania hi Nina uh, Evans in Colorado Mary's in Montana Kathy's in Florida. I bet it's not so windy there. I bet it's blooming glorious there. <laughs> uh, and Carol is in Nottingham too. Hello. Um, Rosalie says, question, once the flowers are made, how long do they hold their shape? Or is it permanent once it's heated? Once it's heated, it's heat set. So they're going to hold their shape. Whatever shape you're going to put them into, it's going to hold that, that shape. Because that is um, the foam and... Um, the nature of it you are heat setting it that is why we use either the iron um, or when I so before we brought our tools in and I used to uh, do the flower farming I used to have to um, shape my petals by hand right it was so um, painful but just by doing that that's the heat um, you were putting into your petal from doing that as well um, well get that heat in there it will shape your petal it'll mold it and it will stay exactly as you've left it so um so i got a largest petal again and i did exactly the same i just tapped it on my iron let it fall off but with this one what we're going to do is i'm going to just fold it in a zigzag so i've just That's folded it. it literally in a zigzag and we're going to bring this little tool in so you've got your ridges going across that way and they're going across that way so when you uh, use your distressing tool it distresses it because obviously the ridges are going opposite ways. Now, we're, we're not going to do this a lot. We're just going to do a little bit of distress on this. As you can see, straight away, just by distressing it, just that little bit, you instantly get a totally different effect to the other one that we haven't done much to. So then you're going to bring in your ball tool and you're just going to mould it round. Let me just move that. I can feel it feel the heat you're just going to mold it round you just gently pull in your petal just round that ball tool and it gives you that nice lovely curve and you're going to do the same on the next one and the next one and we're not going to the edges of the petal we want those edges to stay nice and distressed fantastic 
and then we're going to do the same. We're going to do the same on a medium one and then a small one. So you can see straight away, as soon as I put it against the iron, they curl up. So I'm just going to fold all three of my petals together, just do one zigzag fold on it and then just give it a light distressing. Awesome. Uh, Linda says, if they get squished in the mail, will they pop back up? Um, if they get a little bit squished in the mail, um, when the recipient gets them, if she just gives them a bit of a fluffing. Right. <laughs> she should make them fine. Technical term, that is it? Technical term. Yeah, I just thought so. A bit of fluffing. Uh, Michelle says, how, uh, no, Pammy, sorry, says, Michelle, how do you know which flowers need distressing and which ones don't? Um, I suppose it depends what, what kind of flower and what kind of look you're going for. If you are wanting to create a particular petal or a particular flower, um, have a look at that flower. So obviously, if you're doing roses or tulips, they're not going to need any distressing at all. Um, if you're wanting to go for uh, maybe a peony or another distressed flower, I'm not, I'm not very good with flowers, another distressed flower. <laughs> what, what are fluffy petal flowers? Gerberas? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it just depends on what kind of flower that you're looking to do as to whether you will distress it or not. But, um, you know, I've distressed this now and I could go in, let me get a smaller one. I could go in, um, no, that's too small. Sorry, I just talked to myself like for a minute. You're over there, you aren't you? <laughs> um, yeah, so what would I say? <laughs> uh, about what flowers need distressing and which ones don't. Yeah, so have a look. Whatever flower it is that you're wanting to, um, to copy, have a look. If it's got, you know, fluffy edges, for want of a better word, those distressed edges, then you will go in and you will distress. And if they haven't, then you don't necessarily need to do this. So let's just move that to the side for now. So which flowers would you not distress then, Michelle? Um, I don't know. But you're definitely not a rose. I'm right. not brilliant with flowers and flower yeah. names. Um, crocus, you wouldn't. I Lilies, would they be distressed? Um, I... It depends. Okay. Um, and again, it just depends on what, on what look you're going for. I don't think there's any hard and fast rule. If, um, so we do have a lily one. You don't have to distress the ends if you want them to go to that nice point. What I would um, do with those is I'd have my petal and I would sort of stroke. I know it sounds daft. Um, I would stroke it out so it just it elongates your petal more than anything. Um, if you want those fluffy edges, then just distress the ends and do what you've just seen me do with the ball tool. Um, entirely up to you. Excellent. So just quickly I'll show you these two put together. So this is the most basic way I think of using these. Um, I've just got my three petals. So I'm going to bring, bring in my heat gun. Um, you don't have to use the stamens. It's entirely up to you. You can do. You don't have to. Um, and there's we all do this a different way as well. This is the way I do it. So before I put that petal on top of there, I'm just going to put a tiny little dab of hot glue just off centre. Now, um, I know 3D glue gel is something else we can use with these, isn't yes, it, Michelle? Definitely. The 3D glue gel is very busy on that at the moment. Three for two available on that. I'll just flush the details up of that for you. So, and then just offsetting both my petals. And then I'm going to do exactly nice. the same thing again. I'm just going to put a tiny little dab of glue just off centre. Uh, so it's there on your screen, the 3D glue gel. Is it with or without the tools, Johnny? With the tools, both of them, 1598, 27.90. So grab that whilst it's on a discount price. Things like that that are essentials, it's great to get them whilst they're marked down. So that is the most basic one. Nothing really done to it. You could uh, mat and layer that up more, mat and layer. Put more petals in if you wanted. So that's that one. I'm not going to. Um, put the stamens in yet I'm going to show you this one so again um, you can see that my ends are just a little distressed it's a bit like me on a morning just a little bit distressed right and I'm going to put them together I was a lot distressed this morning <laughs> yeah, we were nearly imagine. late today myself and Michelle I went to the gym very early against my will I will add then I come back made a lovely <laughs> breakfast then I fell, fell back to sleep <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I didn't wake up till about uh, half past ten. We had to be here at eleven, didn't we? <laughs> we did. Running around like a loon at the home this morning. <laughs> so again, I've just put my glue off centre. So when I, I thread my stamens through, I'm not trying to thread through um, a blob of hot glue. So again, just a tiny little piece, just off. 
and I am sort of staggering these, so when I'm laying them on top of each other, staggering the petals. So you can have this either way up you want. So you can have it that way, or you can have it that way. Obviously, you'd have a smaller one there. And again, so it's entirely up to you. So those are the two most basic ways to do these flowers. So what I'm going to do is we're going to bring in this one as well, because when I distress this one, it's going to have a totally different look to that one. So let's just bring that in. So again, again, exactly the same as I did, did before. Touched it on my iron. I'm folding all five of my petals over. I'm going to bring in my little distress tool. I think that the fact that it is heat set like it is with the iron, Michelle, really, what really makes a difference, isn't it? Because there are other systems out there where you don't heat set it, you just die cut it and put it together and then maybe give it a blast with a heat tool or something yeah. like that. But this full heat set one means, well, the samples that you see, for instance, they've, they've been, we've had those samples for years now. Yes. Uh, and they still look as great now as they did before, whereas I've seen samples from other systems where, you know, after a few months they start to look very tired or if you're mailing them. But these seem to be really robust from what I've seen. They definitely are. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. I have been um, playing with the foams for years and I've used many different foams. Um, and this is by far one of the best foams and it's absolutely all down to Le Leanne. I mean, she's an absolute star when she wants something. She definitely gets the best. Um, and it is. It's one of the best that I've used. Once you have set these, I think they just stay and they're brilliant. Um, but not just when they're set, when you're actually doing your flower, your petal. They just... The foam is just incredible to work with. So... Again, exactly the same. I'm just stretching the middle of that petal over my ball tool and I'm not touching the ends at all. So gently, just doing it. And you can see because of the different um, edges to the petals on these as to the clover, you get a totally different effect just by doing exactly the same thing. Awesome. Any more questions you've got, keep getting them into me, please. Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion, if you're across on YouTube. A beads and stones beading tutorials. Don't think that's their um, birth name. <laughs> uh, it says, nice to see how to use that. The stress tool many times I looked at it and was wondering. Lily says, good morning, Joe and Michelle. From a stunning white snow-covered Maine this morning. Wow. The views are breathtaking after a big storm yesterday. I would say send us some pictures, but... You know the gremlins that stops us going live today, they are still there, they're just, they're just lurking low, lying low, but it means we're unable to send any pictures, show any pictures that you've sent in, unfortunately. We're working on it, if we get it fixed, we'll, send, we'll show some a little later uh, in the show. Oh, those, those cheeky little gremlins. <laughs> I can't think they? of a word to say then. <laughs> but did you normally still swear then, Michelle? <laughs> Never. Okay. No. <laughs> Did anyone see the clip doing the rounds from GB News of Eamon Holmes telling uh, a, a lady, his co-presenter, that she looked old? And no. she <laughs> nearly did. She did half swear <laughs> and then caught herself. <laughs> yeah. That's just... Uh... Right. So, as you can see, how I've distressed those edges and look totally different to these distressed edges. So I must admit, this is definitely one of my uh, favourite ones, this. And so this one is the peony, isn't it? Yeah, it's the peony. So to put these together, uh, we all do, we all again do this very differently. So I've got my piece of um, wire and I'm just going to bring in some stamens. So I've just got, so again, these are from the floral bouquet, which are gorgeous because you get so many, so many colours in there. Just beautiful. Yeah, we've got those on the show, actually. I'll show you, share those with you in a moment. So, just picking as many stamens as you want. Just getting them all levelish. So, again, I always tend to go with more, not less. And so I'm picking Can we my... colour these stamens if we want to? You can absolutely colour them. You can ink them up. You can colour them with your uh, pens, your water pens. 
because they're like a, a matte surface, so right. like chalky. So yeah, you can definitely. And if you wanted to add colour to the foam, what would your go-to be for adding colour to the foam, Michelle? So, um, I normally use either the water reactives or the quick dry. I think I normally okay. go more. I would say the water reactives because you get more of a distress effect. But then once you heat set it, um, it just gives you a lovely effect. I must admit. Uh, can we use things like um, like um, sorry? Uh, alcohol markers on these as well if we wanted to. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So if you're doing a lily and you want those little, um, it looks like dots in the yes. middle of the petals, doesn't it? You can absolutely use Perfect. those. Perfect. I know some people love to use, what are they called? Pastels, what are they called? There's, there's another word. Um, Something pastels. Yeah. What are they called? I can't remember. It's Did right in the, the gallery. They're like a chalk pastel, aren't they? Not called chalk pastels, no. no I'm thinking of something else. Not called that. Someone in the comments, let me know. I'm sure they will. Uh, do you know why we've got gremlins? Because Bertie's not here. He keeps the gremlins away. You know, like, like cats keep the mouse away, the mice away. <laughs> Jake, have you seen Bertie? Who's, Ber <laughs> who's Bertie? Poor Bertie. So when you put these on... Oil pastels, that's, that's it. it. Thank you very much, Rachel, social media superstar. Just twist it round the next petal down um, until you're happy with it, the placement. And then just carry on threading, threading through. I mean, I've just got three petals at the minute. But, you know, you would, if you're anything like me, have lots more layers on. Would you got, ordinarily put more on? I would ordinarily, yeah, but um, it's just going to take me too long. I want to show you lots of different things. So, um, But, you know, even with just the three on there, that looks absolutely beautiful. Um, so some of, really some of um, the other ladies on the team will twist this wire and keep it on there. I, Because I tend to use a thicker piece, so I just I take it off, I leave it to the side, um, and then I'll put a blob of glue on the bottom. And I reuse my wire. A lot of people you don't. They um, get a new piece each and every time. So um, I've got a few more flowers next to me that I've used with the same dyes. And bringing them in, you can see. So that one, I just heated it and um, let it cup like I did before. Um, in fact, I'll show you how I did that one. So it's with the peony. There's no point me telling you, I might as well just show you, hadn't I? No, let's use this one. So it is with this one. So you're just going to bob it on there, and you can see it, it cups straight away. And the if I hold it on, it on longer... the day. First <laughs> bob it on the day, I can't believe it. It's half past three in the afternoon. Oh, no. Oh, I'm, I'm losing my touch. Oh. So as you can see, um, the longer you hold it on, the more it cups um, the petals. So I've just gone in with my largest ball tool, and I'm just doing that circular, those little circular motions just to give it that, um, that shaping. And that's exactly all you do. You will take all three of your sizes and do exactly the same. So let's just do that again. So as you can see, holding it on longer makes them cup out bigger. Just drop it off, put your ball tool right in the middle. You can see that they're cupping up straight away. You can see that there. There you go. So that one will just go in the middle. What are the, there's a flower that looks like the, the individual cups. Is it bluebells I'm thinking of? I think so. They yeah, do. Just yeah, just the individual layer on its own looks a little bit like a bluebell when you cup it up like that. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I do, yeah. Just like that. Like a comedian, just like that. Yeah. Who is it? Tommy Cooper. Oh, just like that. That's it. Is that Tommy how he sounded? Cooper. In my head, that's how he sounded. I'm not too sure. <laughs> oh, just like it. So as you can see, I've just took um, the largest, medium and small and just put those three together. And it's given me exactly... Obviously, I've layered up more into that one. But that is all that you need to do. So just heat it, let those um, petals cup on your iron. And once you've dropped it and you've done that little circular dance with them, you get exactly the same thing. So let's just move the iron because we're just going to we'll pop them together onto this card. So again, just move that one. I've just done um, a few in the different foams in exactly the same ways that you've just seen me do. And then I've brought in um, just some smaller ones. 
So all I've done is exactly the same cupping, but with this one, just to create those small little ones there. Um, Amazing. So really this is pretty colours as well, this, isn't it? The foams in this collection are just beautiful. They really are. And we're channeling this. We're, spring's not far away. Not far, not. not long now until spring's... Spring sprungs. <laughs> until spring has spring's, sprung. Spring will sprung when it springs, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, when's, when's, the, when's officially the start of... So if winter is November, no, winter's not, is it? Isn't winter December, January, February? I'm making this up. Yeah, so March, the beginning of... So spring starts in March. Seems like a long way. 20th of March, apparently, it starts. So there you go. Pop that in your diary. Um, Not soon enough, but then, if you ask No, we're getting, we're, get, we're getting about an hour of extra light every month at the moment. And then on the 20-something of March, we will, of course, get... Uh, two extra hours, won't we? Because we'll get our clocks all moving, then that's it, it's all uphill from there. When I've been, this past um, couple of weeks, travelling up on the train um, has been so lovely because it's still been light. So mm. as, as I've been travelling up on the train, um, it's been light, and then I've been watching the, the sun set as I've been. But it's been really nice because it's been just dark when I've been travelling all the time. But now it's getting to a point where it's just so lovely. Kirsty says, uh, we need Bertie. I'm sure he would love watching Michelle make flowers. I think he would. He's in a box <laughs> put away somewhere with the other bears. I don't know where he is. I was, he was ripped out of my arms. I left the studio yesterday, I'm afraid, Kirsty. Um, <laughs> Panda says he could also look like a bluebell or a buttercup. Yes. Buttercup, I think, is what I was actually thinking of. Yes, maybe. So what I've done is I've used one of our, um, those nesting layering dies that we've got. Um, and the reason I've, I've used this is because I, I, I want that beautiful circle in the middle. Because so what I want to do is I want to go round with my flowers. So this is the fun bit. You're just deciding where everything needs to go. So just using my hot glue. I'm just going to... So I'm almost making a wreath. But these are, these are just brilliant because as your flowers go round, they just look amazing. So just lifting that a little. Oh, it's such a cute colour combo. Yeah, and, and the, I love the, the packs peach. of Yeah, the packs of foam are brilliant because the colour combo is in there for you. So whatever's in a particular pack, you know that it's all gonna work beautifully together with each other. Uh, Candice says hello from Western Nebraska. Lovely day here, Michelle. Really enjoying this foam flower masterclass. Well, oh, I'm thank pleased. you very much. So we'll put that, so I'm just gonna. So I've got my long stamens on the bottom still. So what I normally do is I'm just going to cut them off now. And then this is where I'll put my hot glue on and then just stick it straight onto my card. So just holding it in place till it dries. So you can see why I've used the circle because I'm uh, using the flowers to frame, to frame the frame really. So do I want that one on? Yeah, I do. And this is the fun, this is something actually that you can do, you know, when you sat in front of telly on a night, obviously watching us. Of course, um, watching us. Who else are you going to be watching? Well, that's it. Just putting, just batch making these. It's um, just so much fun, it really is. So, oops, that went nearly my finger again. Did you see that? Would you ever use... No, I mean, you only do it for decorative reasons, I guess, Michelle, not for functional reasons. Would you ever cut something out of the foam, like a shape die or, you know, like that? With the, could you cut the matte layer in a piece of foam, for instance, and kept the texture running all the way through it if you want to? You know, that lovely sort of ornate frame that you've done? Yeah, you could absolutely. I mean, I don't know. I've never cut anything with that. I haven't cut the foam with them, but I can't see why, because it's... Um, the texture on it is totally different, obviously, to once you've heat set it. So it's yeah. a nice just piece of foam. And if you wanted to use that as a backing, yeah, definitely. Nice. So I've cut some um, leaves out. And you see, so you I mean, you can use the foam to cut these out. You don't have to use the foam. So I've just used some of our um, textured cardstock. And then again, and again, it's just deciding where you want this to go. But these flowers make the most beautiful focal point on any of your cards or an, an embellishment. So if you only want to put one on, just 
put the one on and then so let's get that in there um, oh I use this while I've got it so there we go flowers bloom all for you and I've got a little bow I was just deciding where I want it to go now It sounds like we're not in Kansas anymore out there, doesn't it? <laughs> it really Honestly, does. so, so windy. Today. Is this a storm, Johnny? Has it got a name, the weather today, or is it just a bit windy? Nice. It seems that looks to have come beautiful. from nowhere. So that is the, the, the basics of these, um, these flowers. Beautiful. Let me share with you the spring collection again. That if you want to be creating exactly what you see Michelle create just there, it couldn't be easier. Uh, you're going to get the delicate crocus in here. You've got the elegant ranunculus, and you've also got the hydrangea garden in there. You are getting two other dyes as well. So you're getting these two dyes, which are uh, your peony and the clover, which are these ones just down here. All right, so you've got those two there. And then what else you're getting is, of course, two packs of the foam and a pack of the stamens within there as well, which is brilliant. Right, how many sheets? 57 sheets. I know, absolutely loads in this particular collection. Let me take you through then what you're getting. So you're getting the holiday shoes. Oh, I don't think you get that in there. That's snuck in there. What's that traditional doily and border? Cheeky little thing. Um, so you're getting the true holiday hues uh, with all the Christmas colours, of course, in there. Then you will also get your autumn hues. You've got your spring hues. And then the floral bouquet, foliage greens, and the white. Great to have the white, of course, for white flowers, but the white is wonderful because you can add any colour you want to it, which is brilliant. So uh, I don't recall seeing a collection of foam as large as that. So I think it's excellent. 31.96 uh, or 45.80. It's a 30% saving for you. Under 26 pounds, just over 36.50 if you are a platinum member. Lots and lots of love for that last card that Michelle has made there. Great uh, deal for you on stamens too. So you can go, you're going to get the black ones in it. Black ones are not something we often see a lot of, I don't think. So great that you've got those ones. You will also receive the floral bouquet, the white ones. And again, just like the foam, you can add ink to the white ones. Dip them even in something like your metallic inks if you want to make something really striking. And then you will get the metallic um, stamens as well for more abstract styles of flowers. All of those, 17.95 or 26.78 is your price on those ones. Um, right, gorgeous card, Michelle, says Pam E. This is beautiful, Terry says, so beautiful. Um, and, and Lee says, I don't have a glue gun. What else could I use, please? Glue. So 3D um, glue gel, we've got that on the show actually, Yeah, we? you can use your chunky glue. You can use your tacky glue. Um, so, I mean, I've got it in my little pin bottle at the minute, but you can use your tacky glue. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer to dry. Uh, not that much longer. Um, but yeah, so you can definitely use this. You don't need the glue gun. Uh, it's just something that I've always used with these. Um, awesome. So yeah. Let me take you through then. A tacky glue's on the bottom of the screen. There is a two, uh, buy two get one free as well on the 3D glue gel that you might want to go for. I'll share that with you in a moment. So in the autumn collection, you're going to get the autumn leaves which is this one just here. You've got holly in there. This one here is your poinsettia. And you'll also receive the pine cone too within that particular collection. So they're the dyes you're getting. We're getting two packs of the flower forming foam, which is this one just down here. There we are. And you will also get two packets of the stamens down. Oh, hello, nearly knocked it over. Two packets of the stamens in there as well. 44.94 or 58.20 if you want to get your hands on those. That's under 36 pounds or just over 46.50 if you want those. I believe we're gonna have a little look at these ones in action next. Any questions that you've got, keep getting them into me. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion across on YouTube. And I'll pop them across to Michelle as well. Um, we can't show photos at the moment, so I was really looking forward to that. And I know a few of you have sent them in, but if we manage to fix it a little later, we will pop some across for you. Uh, Michelle, what would you uh, like to show us next? So I think we'll, uh, we'll use the um, autumn collection. So I've got the autumn hues foam pad, uh, foam pad, foam pack, um, <laughs> the, the foliage uh, die set and the pine cone. Um, 
<laughs> I can't say foliage. 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 You just said I, it. You said it first time. Then foliage. You say it? Yeah. Foliage. Foliage. It doesn't sound right. It is right. Maybe it's you know, foliage. Maybe yeah. it's just me. Yeah, it just doesn't sound right. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so the most beautiful autumnal colours in these. So we are going to just grab a piece of this um, yellow out. This most amazing bright yellow very bright I'm loving it so again so I folded it in four and we're going to use the the pine cone dies so getting these out you can see you've got lots of sizes so if you make if you were actually making the pine cones you would use all of those um, and you would have a nice big uh, pine cone but we're not going to use all of these we're just going to use a few to make a flower with so, I'm just so you're not going to make a pine cone on this I'm not going to make a pine cone with these. But you're going to use it to make something else? I'm going to use it just to Brilliant. make a nice flower. Nice that they're so versatile, isn't it? Well, that's it, yeah. Do um, says that Joe talked about his multi vacation yet with Charlotte stalking him? <laughs> not, not really. <laughs> not in any great detail. Maybe I will before the end of the show, so stay tuned. She followed me for the whole four days, Gilmore. Um, <laughs> yes, we'll talk about that. <laughs> All the churches I went to, there she was. She kept trying to like pose next to them at the, the Madonna, so I didn't think it was her, but I saw her. <laughs> yeah. Having having her evening meal like this in the restaurant, I think. <laughs> yeah. Got on a ferry, there she was. <laughs> right, so there we go. Um, and again, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna give it a wiggle and it helps to separate those petals. Now I have used these, um, I have done a demo on these before where I showed you how to make the pine, pine cones. Because um, there was a, a couple of people. A yes, someone, I think it was Pam saying in the comments earlier that you, um, watching you do it, managed, so she now has managed to do it herself. Perfect. Perfect. I think sometimes you get things and you sort of know how to do it, but when you see someone else do it, then you think, actually, yeah. I knew that's how I had to do it. I just wanted someone to confirm it with me. So there we go. So just separating all those up. Right, what we're going to do is... I've got... Let, let me just get my honey pot. That'll be nicer. Okie doke. You grab your honey pot. Uh, don't forget what's coming up later. Uh, remember, we've got another show later, 7pm here in the UK, 2pm East Coast. Nature's Garden Craft House, which will be fun. A couple of hours of that, myself and Michelle. Make sure you join us for this. These two-hour shows feel very short now, don't they, Michelle, in comparison to the, the three-hour ones or they the really five-hour ones that we normally do. Now, these, these feel quite short. They do. It's it's because I was just I was just thinking, ah, I've got, like, way over an hour left, and I haven't at all. <laughs> Could do with doing the flower farming foam on a three-hour one, mm. to be fair. Maybe we'll get a midweek masterclass with it. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got um, my honey pot and I'm using my quick dry. You can use your water reactive. Um, it's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to dab in and I'm just going on the edges. Now it's quite subtle. Maybe I. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll use orange because then you will see more the blend if I'm using orange. So there we go. Oh, you can see that now. So I'm not being too careful or particular. I'm just inking up those edges. And this is the water reactive I'm using. And like I've said, I've used the quick dry and the water reactive. I tend to use the quick dry because I get so inky. You've seen how, how messy I can get. So um, you do get very inky if you're using your water reactives so I've inked both sides on that you don't have to it depends what flower you're making if you're going to be seeing both sides of your petal then ink both sides are, you, are both sides of your petal normally visible it I suppose it depends I think when you ruffle them up you're definitely going to see um, bits of both sides so there we go so and then a small one can you make more than one full flower out of a foam sheet or CJ's paper crafts? Yes. How many would you say you can make out of a sheet? Well, so that was um, one sheet that I folded in half. Um, if I 
pushed them together a little better, I'd have been able to get some more petals out of there. Um, so it depends how many petals you want in a particular flower. If you're only using your, your basics, if you're only using three, um, then lots. But I would use at least two of each size in the smallest flower that I would use. So you're going to get two or three, I would imagine, out of one sheet, depending, like I said, uh, on how less is more and more is less you go. So let's ink up another one. So, yeah, uh, so, sorry, go on. Not a problem, Emma Ferris is watching this, is giving me the confidence to try flower forming again. Amazing. Um, I'm really glad. The other um, Go on. Go on, you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you get stuck, I mean, my page, um, always message me on it. I'm more than happy to, um, to help. Where can we find that? Questions. So it is Michelle McCarthy, CC, is it? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we'll flash it up at the bottom. And flash it. Here it comes. There, that's me. I am Michelle McCarthy CC. <laughs> you were the real Michelle McCarthy CC. Please stand up. You are the real Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. Working out before work is not, it's, it's not, it's not okay, Charlotte. It's really not okay. <laughs> uh, I think going, working out before work is not a thing, you know. I don't think it can, I don't think it's good. My brain's very, very tired today. <laughs> um, I was going to say something. I can't remember what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. It's come back to me. Oh. It's all coming back to <laughs> me now. Um, uh, what's so great about paper flowers is, uh, these are not paper flowers, are they? No. These are foam flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go back to Michelle. No, I'm not okay. Just go back to Michelle. It's fine. <laughs> so, as you can see, um, I've inked these up. You, you could see it's, it's not hard, it's not difficult. You don't have to be particularly... Um, precise with it because once I heated it and I've done the moulding um, it blends any edges in so if you've got a straight edge with your ink it's fine because it blends it all in just by the the heat setting and the um, the moulding. What I was going to say before Charlotte so rudely interrupted me there Michelle <laughs> was uh, that flower f oh. <laughs> Foam flowers are great because they go across so many different types of craft. You can use them in lots of different things, can't you? So brilliant Absolutely. on cards if you want to use them like that. You can use them on tags if you wanted to. But also brilliant to wear for things like headbands, brooches, corsages. Box frames are wonderful for them as well. Home decor. They can something you can do pretty much anything with. Yes, yes, definitely. Um in fact, so I was on the design team when these first came out, and one of the ladies who was on the design team, I'm pretty sure it was Wendy, Wendy Hood, um, she made some of the most amazing designs with these. In fact, I think she used some and made them into like little lilies, because they float. So she had mm. this big bowl of water, she had some of those floating candles, and she had these in there floating, and it looked amazing. It really did. Floating candles, they're not something you see much of anymore, are they? No. I no. love a floating candle. Maybe we need to bring them back. Jolly's centerpiece had yeah. a floating candle in it. So for this, you can see I'm just going on each petal and just giving it a, <laughs> a rub. A rub. And then just going into the middle because I'm wanting that lovely. Um, cupping on my petal um, and as you can see so on this one you can see that I ripped that one I was a little bit heavy handed oh dear. Um, the re it, I mean, it doesn't matter because that one can go to the bottom um, yeah, nature's not perfect well, yeah um, it just it, it can be a little bit slippier when you've got the ink on there um, so um, gripping it with your fingers can be a little bit tricky so you just have to be a little bit more mindful when you're doing it so. It really transforms it though, having the two tone on there, opposed yeah, to you know, a looks single colour. So much nice. Well, I mean, I love them as they are, but yeah, just transforms them when you put the, the ink on. It really does. 
Remember what you're getting in here as well. You're getting loads. You're getting five different die sets in there. Two packs of foam and, uh, sorry, four different die sets. Two packs of foam and two packs of stamens in this particular bundle. I will go through it again for you. Uh, and a great saving as well. I think for a lot of you, maybe going for the ball tools as well, uh, you're going to get the um, stress tool for free. You only need to go for this and that. And for what, less than 60 pounds, you've got a brand new hobby, a brand new genre. Genre? Genre of crafting, <laughs> pretty much good and ready to go. Uh, so do grab that. Ball tools on the bottom of your screen comes with the distress tool as well, which is brilliant. You're getting that totally free of charge, which is awesome. So let's just move that. Uh, this, this little kit that, um, that we've got is an absolute game changer when you are making these. Um, because like I said, because I used to make these before, and so what I used to have to do without this, if I was distressing them all, so I would have to sit and do that for, I mean, if you put in five, five flowers that have all got five petals, how many times are you doing that? And the pain <laughs> that it causes in your fingers is that if you've done it, you'll know you sort of get like cramps in your thumb here. So having this takes all that stress and strain away from, um, from making the, these flowers and it makes it more enjoyable, definitely. So that is, that is another one of my essential pieces of kit, definitely. So you can see that they're all um, cupped up now and what I'm gonna do is, have I got a piece, just bear with me, let me find a piece of green foam. Oh, that wasn't me. So. <laughs> Sounded like it was you, I won't lie. Yeah, it's just <laughs> it's just a just a, a lid that I knocked over. So I'm just gonna get the largest one of this and I'm just going to cut out. I just want one piece. I'm just gonna run that through quickly. And then we'll put some ink on that as well. Excellent. Any questions you've got, keep getting them into me. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion if you are across over on YouTube. Um, very busy on the autumn and the spring collections as well. Very busy on that 3D glue gel also, where you buy, uh, you, you buy two, you get one free, which is fantastic. So make sure you're, uh, you're checking that out over on the website too. So, let's get this out. So we're just going to, so let me just find a green ink pad really quickly. Here we are. So pine tree. Um, so I've picked up an opaque. I don't want an opaque. Bear with me, because that's gonna that is gonna make a mess. Um, if I'm gonna if you're gonna use opaque, because um, because of what the opaque is, it's a pigment and not a dye, not an ink. Um, so it's gonna take a lot longer to dry on your flower farming. So I, I personally wouldn't use an opaque on there. So I've picked up a quick dry and it's my green topaz. And again, just going to go to those edges and not being too particular. But if you can, can see there, bringing in the before and the after. Really transforms it. Really transforms. It's just, I love it. I love working with the foam. I love making the flowers. It's definitely one of my favourite things to do. So again, you can see I'm not being too careful because this is going to be my base one. So there we go. So again, I'm just going to quickly bring the iron in. I always forget to cut my green piece out. I mean, you don't have to. I always forget to cut it out and then I have to go back in, which is, as you can see, what I've just done. Uh, <laughs> so just doing exactly the same, doing that um, motion in the middle, the circular motion, and then on each petal as well, just to give it that um, effect that I want. And if you want it even more cupped, um, just go in with your ball tool, just in the middle of each petal and just gently, you're just gently pulling it down. There we go. So what we're going to do is, um, and again, we all do this differently. I know Sarah puts all of hers together, all her petals together mm. with the uh, pokey tool. But I don't. It's a different way of doing it. I mean, Lily, for instance, doesn't use any wire, does she, when she does hers? She just 
thread the stamen through when she does it. Um, yeah. So I guess it's just about doing what works for you, like everything in craft, you know, it doesn't matter how you get there, does it? It absolutely is. You will, fi you will find that you might follow someone else who's doing it, um, and it just might not work for you at all. It just, and then, you know, you come across your own way to do it. So I've got some of those beautiful red stamens. So I'm just going to get a few of these off. And again, it doesn't matter how many you use, just be mindful of your smallest petal. So if you have too many in there, um, your smallest, so your inside one, it's not going to necessarily, um, it might thread through and, and rip. Okay, so your best, so as, uh, as a brilliant, your best ones are where we've got a nice big center in the middle to enable you to do this. So this now is about deciding which way we want to thread them on. Do we want that effect or do we want that effect? Oh, we want that effect. <laughs> so you're threading from the front to the back, are you? Or from yes. the back to the front? So this is going to be my top one, so the yeah. smallest one. So I'm going to thread from the top through to the back. And like you can see, I do it one at a time. So I'm just going to pull that through until I'm happy with how um, far out they are. Far out, man. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Ooh. So again, just threading that second one on and just arranging it. So just twisting it round so your petals are staggered. There we go. Uh, next one. Beautiful. So is this any particular type of flower we're going for? Is it just a, is it a random Michelle flower? It's just a Michelle flower, Excellent. I think. Unless it does have a name. I mean, like I've said, I'm absolutely rubbish with flower names. So it may well have a name, but um, I couldn't tell you. Call it what you want. It can self-identify as a pine cone, let's say that. <laughs> it's just the petals, this pine cone dye it's just quite a beautiful generic one that just makes lovely flowers does it look anything like a daisy uh i don't know i can't i'm terrible with flowers michelle yeah i am absolutely so you can see that's my ripped one there but because it's gone to the bottom let me just twist it so it's all staggered you can't really see that rip um so there you go, so that's that. And then this, so my bottom piece. So again, you don't have to put the green piece on the bottom. I do, I think it just finishes it off lovely. So that, just twisting it round until you can see it. And there we go. So that is my um, pine cone flower. So again, I'm just gonna thread my wire off and then I've got my flower there. So what I'm gonna bring in is, so this is the poinsettia dye, which I don't have with me but I've done it in exactly the same way as I did these. But just with the, um, the poinsettia one, you can see that the petals are totally different. I've just used the dark green stamens, but again, I did it ex in exactly the same way, but just because it's a different um, dye, a different petal, it just gives you that different effect. So, as Joe was uh, saying earlier, <laughs> lovely for headbands. So I thought we'd mm. make a, a nice little headband. Uh, so, there's um, different, I mean, I'm just going to hot glue this on. So, um, depending on where we want it to be. So I'm just going to very carefully. We'll put that one on there. And if you want to make sure that yours aren't going to fall off, because if you're just sitting them on there and um, whoever you're giving it to is going to be in and out with the hair, you've got two options. So what I've done is I've, I've die cut some leaves. So that's gonna go underneath and then my flower is going to sit on it or get a piece of felt just in a circle and put it on underneath, glue it underneath and to your flower at the bottom. So again, it, the felt will be nicer on the head. It won't, it won't hurt if you're giving it to a little girl who's got it coming in and out of her head. So, before I glue that on, I'm going to cut those off. So, just cutting those off like that. Johnny's and little girl, Isla, he's saying would absolutely love this. Is she a really girly girl, Johnny? 
She's what, sorry? Makes her own outfit, does her own outfit, puts her own outfits together. How old is she? Five. <laughs> puts her makeup on. <laughs> Uses her mum's perfume makeup. Sorry, <laughs> say that again. Puts lipstick on for school. <laughs> How does she take it when you tell her to take it off? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be a handful, I think, John, isn't she? All little girls are, I think. I think by nature of a little girl, they're a handful. <laughs> Johnny makes her put, uh, tries to make her put her outfit on. She's like, nah, it's not happening, Dad. <laughs> uh, for, from, from as young as I can remember with Alice, she um, was exactly the same. She wanted to wear what she wanted to wear. If you gave her something that... Um, she wasn't in, impressed with. Mm. She always loved to wear odd socks. If you gave her matching socks, no. she wouldn't wear them. Um, I don't know where she gets her awkwardness from at all. <laughs> but I think... <laughs> Must be Ben. <laughs> yeah. Ben's so laid back and so easy going. Um, it's like nothing phases him. You know, I can be screaming and pulling my hair screaming? out. you screaming? No. Oh, I can't no. see that. Uh, <laughs> no, daughters do it to you. They right. can make the most mild-mannered um, person into a raving lunatic. They really can. Anyone who's got daughters out there Johnny knows says he exactly what I mean. So we just put. So I've um, cut these out in card. Uh, you don't have to. You can again cut them out in that lovely foam. And then again. So this is just about layering on up and having that play but these um you're getting a lot of brides lately asking for things like this right um so i've seen ouch um don't burn your fingers um Ooh, no end <laughs> no Jake's end first aid trained he'll have to give you mouth no not for a burnt finger he won't <laughs> unless you ask him nicely <laughs> is he out there he can't hear me it's fine <laughs> yeah, brides now, they're having foam flower, um, what are they called? Uh, bouquets. Foam flower bouquets, paper flower bouquets. Um, there's a huge, huge market for that at the minute, definitely. Could you make paper flowers using the flower dyes? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So you don't just have to use these for the foam, you can use it with our card, our papers, anything you want. Um, but there, so that is how quick and easy it is. Beautiful. Um, to make one of the, and with the inked edges as well, just adds that um, extra pop to mm. them. Really does. Right. Let's, uh, I remember what you're getting in the winter collection just here is you are going to firstly get the autumn leaves, which is uh, this one here, as you can see. You will get, of course, the holly in there. Uh, you've also got as well this one which is your poinsettia and then you've got your pine cone in there as well uh, as well as that of course you're getting two packs of the foam and you're getting two packs of the stamens in there as well it's very busy over on the website at the minute so I think what we're going to do is give you an opportunity to check out your basket whilst you do that don't forget it's double points all weekend this weekend but if you're new to us and unsure what Club Inspire is then take a look Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick 
quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint, offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. Uh, that wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Absolutely, we do create every single day for you here at Crafters TV. We're going to go back and have another look at our spring collection, uh, which is this one just here. So remember what you're getting in here, you're getting three sets of dice. You've got the Hydrangea Garden. You'll also get the Delicate Crocus. Oh, hello. Then you've got this one just here, which is your Elegant Ranunculus. Also within this particular collection, you're going to get these two dies here, which is the Clover and the Peony. They're going to be included. You've got two sets of your flower forming foam, and you've also got your stamens in there as well. 50.19 or 67.95. Uh, is your price on that 40 15 or 54 36 uh, if you are in the club which is awesome uh, now we're going to go back to michelle any questions you've got get them into me loving the headband says uh, pam e norma says it's so beautiful and great idea also for says sherry right what's next to michelle <laughs> i wasn't just running to get in place at all uh, <laughs> the ranunculus we're gonna Love this one. This is just beautiful and... Very dense, this one, isn't it? Yes, I just love this. It's it's one of my favorite. I, have I said that about everyone I've brought I think out? so, yeah. Um, it's so hard when there's so much loveliness, it's so hard to choose. So with this one, you get stencils, which gives you the option to make absolutely huge... Um, Redonculus, I think, as Johnny called them earlier. Redonculus. <laughs> Is that what you thought the flower was called, Johnny? <laughs> Redonculus. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that something we said before about like it's ridiculous and very well, yeah, it's very well may have done. Or maybe it's redonkadonk. I'm not sure. Redonk One of the two. <laughs> I love that as well. So you've got your three stencils in there. Um, so they're cut out exactly the same as. Uh, these obviously you cut them out yourself but they're the same petal type and then you've got these two lovely small ones in the middle that create that um, center of your flower and then again you've got that beautiful which you've seen me use a couple of times um, out, cut out of card um, that lovely leaf and um, I was going to use that but then I realized that um, I'm not real this is the rose garden one so it does have similar colours in it to the one that you've got over there. So the one at the front of you on the left hand side, it's got some similar colours in. Similar to the spring hues. Yes, that's the one. 
so yes yeah, so similar colors but yeah this one was just from the the rose garden because i think it's great actually that we've now started um include oh, sorry just bear with me oh, i'm too old for bending down um <laughs> yeah i love the fact that we've started includes including foam and um the flowers in our collections now Yes, some of the big signature collections yes. often have, don't they, uh, flower dyes and also colour match flower forming foam. It's really lovely. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to cut two out of the dark colour. Let me just get my scissors in and just cut a strip. So we're going to cut two out of this. Oh, did you see how that cut then? It just mm, slides like off. Like a hot knife through butter, wasn't it? <laughs> Two out of that, and then with the. Are you being frugal with your phone? I know it's um, it's not something that I normally do. I'm not normally frugal with anything, to be honest. I'm very frivolous, much a more as more. Let's just. You sorry? You're frivolous. I am. Yeah, I'm frivolous. <laughs> so then, so two of each, and we're going to run that through. But as you can see from all the different foams and the different packs I've been using, there really is um, a colour for everything. And if not, the packs of white foam, and you literally colour them any colour you want. Um, and your foam is washable. Washable? So, yes. So if you've inked it off... Yes. <laughs> washable? Everyone went, washable? <laughs> if mm. you've inked your foam up and you don't like it, it will wash. Um, as, well, especially if you've used the water reactives, because obviously they're water-based. So, yes, yeah, so you can wash your foam. Wash your foam? You Get your inside foam. and wash your foam. <laughs> I can't come out tonight. I'm washing my foam. So, let's get that popped out. So, there we go. So, we've got... And, again, all you're going to do is you're just going to give it a bit of a... A squiz. On the <laughs> squiz. I can't think of a word. Squiz. You need to give it a bit of a, a wiggle. A wiggle. Wiggle it just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's funny every time you say I like automatically want to sing a song. You know when someone says something and you can just burst into song. I, I mean I won't oh, do that to you. Oh that's the one I keep bursting into recently. <laughs> No, when you when I said give it a wiggle, I was thinking of a totally different song to you. But I thought I'll not I'll not sing for you. I'll not do it to you. So there we go. So that is all my little pieces that we're gonna make this flower with. Now using so this flower, this one is just beautiful again as it is. So we're gonna bring all our tools in. My little my little toboggan and mat and where are my tweezers so again so we're going to do exactly the same thing i mean if you're going to ink it up then ink it up now um, and then we're just going to so we're just going to hold it on there you can see it cups off and you can see straight away i don't need to do much more to that than this so i'm just giving it a bit of a wiggle keep it um just wiggle it and, and, and it your foam, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Your foam cools down pretty quick and will stay in position. Uh, Ranuncular sounds like a Harry Potter spell, says Rhonda. <laughs> it does. So again, just giving it a wiggle. And I'm not going to distress these, just giving it a little wiggle like that. It just puts a tiny little bit of um, distress on your edges anyway. So, holding it on, letting it heat up. And they get a little bit staticky, so you end up trying to get it off and ending up covered in more foam than is on your desk. But it's all part of the fun. So, there we go. So, just move those. So, these little ones. I'm going to do exactly the same, but I'm going to bring in... Um, as you can see, they've all got different ends, so I'm going to bring in a smaller one for that. Okay, look. Um, I'm, if I go in with that big one, it's not going to curve it up. You go in with the smaller one, and your petals are going to curve 
uh, round it, which is what we want in. Oh. So put that straight on, and as you can see, your little petals have curved straight round it. Just trying to <laughs> trying to get it off your oh, finger no, you've got your is the start. hardest thing. So if you're using these tiny little ones, um, so what I was saying before, you can see the centre of that is so little that I'm not going to be able to thread my stamens through it. It's just going to rip it apart. So you have two choices with this. Um, you can get your stamens, cut them right down and then just glue them into the middle. Or you can use um, a gem, like a, a bead. You know, so... If, um, what sort of bead? So like a like, seed bead? Yeah, well, not that small. Right. But I've got um, some beads at home. They're like, some of them are like a half inch. So just you, the ones that you can thread through um, for um, jewellery making, things like that. So like pearlescent ones, things like that. Uh, um, have one of those in the middle. I mean, I've got a huge um, jar of them. So I'm pretty sure that we've probably all got things like that. Um, in our kit. So with the feathers, with the um, leaves, I'm not going to do anything other than I just gently touch it to the iron um, and bring it off. And it just, it curves your, your petals or your leaves enough that you don't need to do anything else to them. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the smallest ones. So let me just bring in my glue gun again. So now I'm not going to use any stamens for this one. Okay, doke. So I'm going to where I'm going to use these because I'm using my hot glue, and I've only burnt myself about 20 times. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna use the tweezers. So I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of glue on the smallest one at the bottom, and I'm just going to bring the next one in. Open it up and just put that in the middle. And then if you feel you need to go back in there just to get that um, shape back in, just go back in there and it, it goes straight back into shape. And then, so we're gonna put these into this one. So again, I'm using hot glue, but if you are using um, your chunky glue, you've got more wiggle room and miggle, miggle, and wiggle time to do this than I have. How long is it going to take to set if we're using our chunky glue? Um, I would imagine it wouldn't take any longer to set on these as it does if you're using it on card or paper. Okie doke. Um, I'm not sure how long does it take. Do you have to... It's, it's, I'm it's not, overnight it's to not probably go off, isn't yeah, it? I would have thought so, not yeah. Not you use a lot of. I don't use it. Um, if I'm going to use anything, I always go for the, the glue gun. I do have it at home and I've used it once and it was brilliant. I just don't have the patience to wait. So there we go. So just give that a bit of a twist so they staggered. And again, I'm just going to pop that back on there and bring in my smallest one. And just going to reinforce that shape that I want on there. And then, see, layering the colours as well really gives you, again, a different effect to keeping it all one colour or having it all inked up. So you're getting, again, lots of different effects just by changing the foam from one single colour to more. There we go. And then the last one. This well, is very Susie, much... our social media superstar, says overnight it takes to go off properly. Yeah, I thought it was. I mean, it, it'll... It'll become um, sort of touch dry after, I don't know, um, you just sort of you put it on and just leave it to the side, don't you? So there we go. So we've got that lovely. So what you can do now is, um, if you want that to stay in even more than what it is, either with your tacky glue, just put a tiny little blob of glue there, or get your hot glue and put a tiny little blob there um, and hold it and then it'll hold these in 
um, if you're quite happy with that. If you're going to put a lot together, uh, it's going to hold it quite close cupped anyway. So it's entirely up to you what you want to do there. So what we're going to do, so I've made lots of these. In fact, I forgot to put my um, uh, leaves. Oh, oh no, leave it, out, leave it out. <laughs> so again, just a tiny little dot of glue. And I'm just going to sit my flower on it. And it comes up. And again, if you don't want that to flop down, just put the tiniest. So if you're going to... If you're going to do this technique, you need the tiniest little bit of glue towards the bottom of your petal, and then once you press that on there, it's going to stick. You don't want it too far to the top because you're going to see the glue. And you don't want to see your glue. Awesome. So again, just a tiny little dot. Um, Mary Lee says, just realised these would work great on the handbag dies for Easter. That's a really cool way of using them. Oh, they would. So uh, for like little... Is, I'm going to say it wrong, croissage. Croissage, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For making things like that, absolutely perfect. So, so there, that is where I would put a little round bead in the middle, uh, a nice pearlescent one. Um, or, I will show you, so what you need to do is, if you're going to do it this way, literally you're just going to get a few of your stamens, hold your actual stamens and find your scissors. I've got three pair of scissors and I can't find one <laughs> pair. Um, and just cut them as long or as short as you want. So that's really quite small in the middle. So we're going to cut them quite close to the edge. And again, just holding them tightly. Just going to put a little bit of uh, glue. And then you're just going to just stand them in the middle and you're going to hold them for a little while, just until that glue dries. So if you let go too soon, and, and again, I mean, I've put a few in at once. You could do them one at a time to make sure they're exactly where you want them to be. And again, so I'm just using my tweezers just to glue them to my petal. No, <laughs> glued it to my petal. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't get your tweezers there stuck in your, your flower. That's a nightmare. So just using my tweezers just to, just to stand them up in the middle. And that's how you get away with using your stamens on a petal that's not big enough for you to thread them. So what we're going to do is we're going to have brought, so I've made lots. Obviously these are in, these are in the colour that um, is over there. You've got the pack over there and I haven't got it over here. Is it the, um, that pack at the front on the right? This one right, here? This on the left hand the side? The other one. This left? No, the other one. Uh, yes, it's called the Spring Hues. That's it, from that one. So that's what these are from. So I've oh, brought pretty. lots in. Lots and lots. Um, and you can see how lovely they look together. Um, these are, I've got more of the tiny little bits in the middle. So I've got more of these little pieces in the middle than I have on that one. Um, so that's what, the only thing that I've done different between what I've just shown you and these ones. So I've got a lovely little terracotta pot and I've um, just got some, some packaging so we all get so much packaging with all this awful foam stuff that you don't know what to do with. And then I've just cut a circle of, just roughly, because you're not going to see it, of card. Let me just glue that down. Oh, I have glued it. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue around this those edges. This is the, the my web wrap says that the wind's outside of 30 miles an hour. I think it's telling porkies, don't you? I think it's definitely more I think than it's that. Definitely. Definitely coming porkies. Um, Rhonda says, when I was little, Easter was all about the hat. These foam flowers would have been great addition to hats. Absolutely. If you want to make yourself an Easter bonnet, can you imagine what a fabulous Easter bonnet you can make? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm making a right hash of oh, this, Oh, you're right. Joe. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I just couldn't get it back in. See, look, you make something, take it out and try and get it back in and it just doesn't work, does it? So, <laughs> I just put it on a little um, dome pointy bit nice and literally all we're going to do now is we're just going to go around with these and we're just going to glue them in so again I'm it just looks a use... bit like the um the plant from a uh, little shop of horrors before you've started decorating it <laughs> yes please see more oh, i love that show so much one of my favorites absolute favorites that is 
I was thinking, what's that creaking noise? I thought it was Johnny's wallet opening. It's your glue gun I can hear in my, in my talk back. Yeah. Oh, you hear it is it? the glue there gun, go. yeah. yeah. it's the glue gun. Sounds a lot like Johnny's wallet. So again, so these make perfect centrepieces for your weddings, for your parties, uh, things like that. To match the bride's bouquet or anything like that. So if it's your kids... Your daughter's, your son's graduation. Um, Great teacher gifts, these as well. Oh, yeah, these are you perfect know, for that, yeah. If you've got someone that's, you know, got a bit of a dull office space or a dull desk <laughs> space, pop one of these. They don't need to water it. It's going to brighten it right up. Definitely. So just pop that in there. Just making sure they're all stuck down. It's going to be very one. hard to pick a card of the show oh. uh, today. That one in the top, and then what I've got from the farmhouse collection. So that's from the little seed packets. Nice. Um, yeah, you know what I mean. The seed packets, and then there's the stamp set. So if you plant it, it will grow. So let's stick that in. Dare I try and force it? Let's have a go. Oh, there we go. You don't know your own strength. That works. That was more simple <laughs> than I thought it was going to be. And, and then I've got this little watering can. And I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to stick that to the front. If I had a piece of wire, I could um, pop it in again, but I don't. But this is going to be nice on the front. So just curving that round. So I've, again, I've used my tri blends to colour that in, and that's from the farmhouse collection again. And then a bit of ribbon round that maybe. But those ranunculus flowers are just beautiful. Really, really gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. Fifty nineteen sixty seven ninety five. If you want to get your hands on those, let me remind you the uh, different dyes that you're getting within here. So it's three different dyes. We've got the elegant ranunculus. We've also got the hydrangea garden, and you've got the delicate crocus. Remember what else you're getting in there, then you're getting two sets of the foam in there, uh, you're getting the stamens in here, and those two extra dyes as well, the clover and the peony, uh, I believe it was. Uh, we've also got uh, the six-piece die set for you. It is the one that has in there uh, the peony and the clover, uh, I believe. Uh, let's share it with you. In there you're going to get peony, clover, foliage, holly, ivy, and autumn all coming in there for you 38 45 50, 19. brilliant if you want to stock up um, on your dies you fancy some new dies give you a bit more extra inspiration we are going to have a little look at what uh, our next item from the lovely Sharon Callis. Now, I know we've bought you this in bigger collections before with lots of other elements included. This is a great way of getting hold of it if it's just the dies that you want to get your hands on, which is wonderful. So you've got the sword grass in here. You've also got... Oh, are these upside down? Yeah, they are all upside down. So you've got the sword grass in there. Then you've got this one, which is your baby aloe, which is fantastic. These are great little succulents and make great little pots and home decor items with these as well. Merry Maiden, what is that one just said? Sounds like a character out of Robin Hood, doesn't it, Merry Maiden? Uh, you've then got Lilla China, which is that one. Neon Breaker, which is here, which is a really interesting uh, flower. Uh, and this one sort of has got lots of dimension on it, which is great. And then you've got the jade. Now, this one is completely, uh, really unique. It makes a very dimensional flower. Lots of these are using that quilling application that um, Sharon has become so famous for. Uh, and a great, great price on these. Under £20 or $25 if you are a Platinum member. The Spring Hughes Foam is so lovely, uh, says uh, Mary Pat. Uh, might need to get some more. Mary Lisa, I used to make corsages for ladies at Easter, so another nice idea to bring back guests. I'd better get busy. Uh, Mary Rhino says, I love the flowers, the colours are beautiful, and CJ's Papercraft says, beautiful creation, Michelle. Uh, now, I know that you love, don't you, this particular collection, Michelle. What is it about these that you love so much? Um, everything. <laughs> Again, I, I love Sharon Callis. I think she's fabulous. She's brilliant at what she does, but she's even brillianter if that's what it is now, um, at these. She has taken quilling and she has 
giving it a new leash of life. She really has. So, I mean, I've got, I've got them all here in front of me at the minute because um, I couldn't decide. I'm definitely going to use that one. And I think we'll just, we'll use this one. Uh, so, yeah, so what she's done, if you haven't seen these before, um, we all know what a quilling die is. And a quilling die is normally just the one side and you will quill it up. Uh, and if you want um, it to be bigger or anything, you will call another one up. But what Sharon's done is she's sort of made it double-sided. So when you run this through and you die-cut it out and you quill it up, you've, she's designed it so you've got it there. So you've got that staggered um, leaf effect. You, you know, you don't have to spend all that extra time trying to get them right, you know, because you sometimes have to loosen your quilling up to make sure that your petals are aligned correctly. With these, you don't. She's done that for you, which is fabulous. So, um, I don't know if we've got these in well, stock. We don't have the pads, I don't think, on this show. Um, but are they, I don't know if they're on the site or not. But if they're not, we'll have just, a little look. just use either our textured card, uh, well, our textured paper. I wouldn't use a card stock because you're not going to get the effect that you need. Um, so, what colour shall we use? So, I use that for my grass. And so you see, that's another thing. Um, give me a decision, and it's impossible. So this is going to be for this one. And as you can see, um, the way that they ombre out with the colour, so even down to this, she's put so much thought into what she's doing. Um, I do, can you tell that I adore Sharon? <laughs> yeah. But credit where credit's due. She's also hilarious as well. She. Oh, she's so, so funny. funny. She can tell a story, that woman. She really can. <laughs> she can. So let's get this one on here. OK, so they are out of stock, but, um, like I say, you can use our textured paper pads that we've got. Um, if you want this effect, just ink the edges. Mm. So you can still get the effect, and the thickness is still perfect for these. So let's just run that through. <laughs> getting busy as we move towards the end of the show lots of you shopping on the website it is getting very busy over there uh, make sure you're getting hold of these of course you're going for these today double points across everything here on crafter tv and across the entire website so make sure you are stocking up these should be 60 pounds or 77 dollars these particular dies platinum members i mean you're spending a fraction of that you're saving over double spending less than saving more than double what you're spending that's what i was going for <laughs> I knew what you meant. Good job someone did. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. I'm very discombobulated today, Michelle. Yeah? It's that, um, it's that torture se session you did this morning. <laughs> that sounds a bit wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I meant the gym session. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shut up, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it was, yeah. I didn't intend to... I'm not the sort of person that should be in a gym by 7am in the morning, you know? <laughs> opposed to 7am not in the morning that doesn't make any sense um yeah i'd more likely be getting in at 7am on a saturday rather than going to the gym at 7am on a saturday michelle yes definitely definitely so as you can see i use two of the papers and run it through and it's cut them both out beautifully um and again so this is where you're going to bring your ball tools in and your foam so this is my um stamping mat that i'm using but this is perfect for this so what you're going to do is just move that to the side um, whichever ball tool you feel is the, the correct size. Uh, I'm going to go in with my big one for my big one. So what you're going to do is you're going to just bring your petal down. So you're going to bring it from the inside, outside. All you're doing is just moulding it down. You're just pulling it in on that side. And when I get down there, I'll swap around to the... Um, Those tools are one. really invaluable, aren't they? Oh, they really are. Absolutely. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. And then on this side, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Just with my ball tool, just bringing it into the centre. And then swap into a smaller one when I get down there. So here, you can either put a line of red liner tape down the middle, um, or just fold it, it's entirely up to you. So we're just going to fold it over. And as you can see straight away, they are perfectly staggered. So, 
and then again. So this is again where you can put a line of red liner tape down there. So if you are going to use that, you're going to want our three mil. Um, so it's the perfect width for this. So let me just find the end. And we're just going to run that along here. Fabulous. I love Chevron's products, says Beth. Such pretty colours, says my, my Little Melting Pot on YouTube. That's an interesting name. Mm. CJ's Paper Cross is beautiful uh, collection as well. Loads of love for that last demonstration. So you're going to start from the smallest to the biggest. So you're going to start with the smallest size and roll it that way or quill it that way. So I do not have a quilling tool. All I ever use is my pokey tool. Um, you need if, to get your quilling tool, Michelle. If you've sure, got a quilling Jake tool... Hold the line. I'll see if Jake's got one for you. Oh, go on then. You can take it home with you. I, don't tell them <laughs> I told you that. I mean, technically, you're stealing it. I'm all right with that. Um, if you don't have a quilling... Because a quilling tool, it will clip over and it will hold it. Um, so what all I do is I just start off... I just curve that round there and I just start it off that way. And because I've used the red liner tape, it's automatically grabbed. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry on just with my fingers, just rolling it. Uh, if you was, had the quilling tool, you would probably be finished by now because you'd have spun it and it would all be done and dusted. But this takes a little bit longer. Every Good time to I show go that if you don't have a quilling tool that you can still well, make this, that's it's it, awesome. Yeah, I keep thinking I'll, I'll buy a quilling tool, but then I keep thinking every time I do these, you can see then that you can still do them if you don't have the quilling tool. I mean, I know they're not expensive, but every time I go to buy one, they're out of stock. Are they like those things like crochet hooks? You know you've got six of them, but you don't know where any of them are. Yes. <laughs> so you can see by using the red liner tape, it's stuck all the way round, and it's perfectly... Um, well, it's, per it's not perfect, it's perfectly square. <laughs> Square will do. So all you're going to do is you're going to bring each of your petals out and you can mould it again with your finger if you want a bit more um, shape on there. So you're just bringing each one out and by nature of what it is you can just wiggle each to the side and so you're getting that nice um, full shape all around. You're not getting any any space so beautiful just isn't wiggling it that one across yeah beautiful so look at that so that's exactly I th that's it i mean i've just done it from start to finish for you uh, and that's how quick and easy it is so we'll just do do i have time to know another quick one? Oh, oh yeah why not you do you <laughs> So again, so I'm just using my ball tool. Panda crafts so some people use a pair of tweezers if they don't have a um, quilling tool. Yeah, yeah, just anything that you feel you need to hold that end so you can um, get started and roll it round. Tie it rolling, to rolling, rolling. That's what I always think in my head when people make these. <laughs> Whatever happened to Limp Biscuit? Eh? Um, so depending, again, so depending on how, uh, <laughs> how you want this to look, so if I fold it this way, it's gonna, they're going to curve in. If I fold it this way, they're going to curve out. So uh, entirely up to you. Again, have a little play. See which you prefer um, with the petals. So again, we're just going to put a piece of red liner tape across there. And you can see I'm not rushing. So these don't take long at all and are just so beautiful when they're done. Press that down nice and firmly. And again, starting from the smallest petal. And again, all I do is I just get my um, pokey tool and I just curve that round there, pull it out, and I'm good to go. Fabulous. Don't forget, uh, I'm going to come towards the end of this show. We've got another fabulous show for you uh, a little later. You may as well stay with us to the end now because um, from 7 pm. This evening here in the UK, it's 2 p.m. East Coast, 11 a.m. West Coast. We have got another couple of hours of fun for you with our Nature's Garden Craft House, which you're definitely not going to want to miss. Some really great discounts on some fantastic previous Nature's Garden collections. So come and join us for that here on Craft TV. That'll be 7 p.m., 2 p.m., 11 a.m. There's loads on that show, I'm sure, isn't there? There is. Lots of... Um 
nature's garden um, collections we've got, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't telling you then so much as asking. <laughs> you, you wouldn't think that it's my show. I've done all the prep for it and I've already forgot what I'm doing. It's all weekend. It's a double, du it's a triple double, Michelle, weekend. Triple double, double triple, triple double. double triple I'm going to go with. I know, me three times in one day, you lucky Double lot. triple, that's Johnny's usual measure <laughs> when he goes down the pub, isn't it, Johnny? That's two so, double triples, please. <laughs> Where's my grass gone? What did I do with it? So just bear with me. How can I lose? Oh, it's, in, it's still in my die, look. It's there. <laughs> so you can quill this exactly the same way as what I have just done that, and you end up with a lovely um, bunch of grass. So, as you can see, just roll, I'm not, I'm not going to use it this way, but I'm going to show you again just how easy it is. It's just rolling up beautifully. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's because I can hold the, the blades of grass. That one's going together nice and quickly. So, there you go. And then just flare it out, and you've got that beautiful little um, clump of gla glass. Honest to God. Basic English just escapes me all the time. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to do it like that. Let me just move that to the side. So I've got um, another couple here. I just need to... So these are one of the other ones. Which one did I use? Just bear with me and I'll let you know. I used the, the Merry Maiden. For these two they've got a bit squashed coming up but as you can see just give them a bit of a fluff out as now is the official word for your flowers fluff out your flower fluff out your flowers just twist them all to each side and we've got that there and i've already pre-made this card because it wasn't about the card it was about um the quilling the flowers but this um, embossing folder that i've used is the sharon callis one from the same collection and then these die cuts that, that I've also stamped are again from this same collection. So they're the Sharon Callis um, ones that was released. So there was, she had a few embossing folders, she had the stamps, she had the little um, Yeah, I think pick. we've still got bit elements of yeah, that available yeah. over on the website. So that's what I've used with this. So it's just some green card, some craft card, and I've just inked around the edges with um, one of our brown uh, water reactive, I think the Fryer Brown um, ink pads just to um just to do that and i've already stuck those on and then what i'm going to do because sometimes you look at these and you're not really sure how best to get them on your card mm. it can be a little bit tricky so what we're going to do is let me just so again it's just some craft card and a piece of the green textured card stock i'm um, just going to tape this on here so just to give that that. and this is just um, so it's a gatefold just a nice simple one that I've done but what I'm going to do is so we're going to curve that on here so we're going to make like a little basket almost for them to sit behind so again I'm going to bring in my glue gun and I'm just going to just glue that to that side and hold it down so you could use foam pads for this. I tend to use my glue gun because uh, it allows me to, to give it that curve and I can hold it in place. And um, obviously once my glue has dried, it's, um, it's set just like that. Oh, I am channeling him today, just aren't like I? <laughs> just like that. So, there we go get that bit of glue away so I've got that lovely little if you can see there so you can sit them behind it now um, have your little your little bottom bits I don't know what they're called <laughs> your little bottom bits so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my grass on the back first which is why I didn't quill it because um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna fold it in three and then I'm just going to sit that behind Oh, there. that's a nice way of using it. Yeah. So where's my... Where's there, look. So just tape that there closed. And then I'm going to actually, I'm going to bring in this. So it gives me time to get it behind there before it sticks down. 
So just running a bit of glue across that bottom bit and then I'm just going to tuck it in. So I'm going to use that under there just to press that down with. So I mean you could have, I mean I probably would have gone in and maybe just curved my edges like that to give it, but I forgot. So I hope I won't. In fact, I tell you what, that one's curved. We'll put that one in front because that'll look lovely. So just um, could be a little grass skirt, couldn't it? Well, it could, couldn't it? For one, maybe you could put it on one of Sharon Carter's ballerinas' little grass skirt. There yes, you go. of course. Great way of using it. So let's just tape that there shut. And oh, it does look lovely curved, doesn't it? So all I'm using is either your bone folder or um, my pokey tool I use for so much. Your pokey tool gets used for everything, doesn't it? It really does. It's a workhorse is my pokey tool. My pokey tool and my tweezers, I don't know what I'd do without them. <laughs> so let's well, You did a little giggle at yourself. <laughs> I just sort of ramble on a little bit. That's right. And then here, myself. <laughs> Let's just get that stuck down. It's not, why are you not sticking down for me? Oh, oh it's because I'm not pressing it? on it. There we go. There we go. So even though I've put those um, stamped images behind and I've just covered them up, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just going to flatten that a little bit. Because, I mean, to be fair, it's just tough now, isn't it? So we're just going to tuck that behind there and just spread its little petals back out and then so I'm going to do the same with that I'm just squashing mine flat a little bit just to get it to go behind if you make your little bow front bigger then you're not going to have to squash like I just have done but it doesn't really matter and then again so just fluffing your petals and I've got two there. Where's my scissors? I don't want all three. I'm just going to use this one. So again, just a, um, using a bit of hot glue to get it behind there. Just sticking it in. There we go. And then again, so I... I can you tell I've uh, found this little kit? You from, love it, don't you? Yeah, I do. Bit. So I've stamped it out loads. Um, I just love it. I think it's so cute. And where are my foam pads? Oh, there they are. I've put them away. Why would I put them away? Who puts things away when they're crafting? So just put that on the middle. Um, I've put, put it down the middle because that's curved. Um, I'm just going to curve them edges so it follows it nicely. And then just put that in the middle. And then, so that is I wish those. you'd be planted money it grew. Yes, that would Imagine. be lovely. So there we go. We've got that lovely, um, what's it called? Gate for, oh, I've glued it shut. Oh, don't just, know. Oh, just seeped a little bit, that's. Oh, just a little bit of seepage. <laughs> just a little bit of seepage. There we go. Oh, Excellent. Dear. Right, uh, why don't you go. get ready for the card of the... <laughs> The kind of the show, I'll recap exactly what you are getting in here then. Uh, so remember what you've got, you've got the sword grass in there, you've got the baby aloe, which is that one there, Mary a maiden, this one, Lil China, which I always want to do in a Donald Trump impression for some reason, I don't know why, Lil, Jane, Lil Jaina. Uh, then you've got Neon Breaker, and you've also got Lee Jake, Lil, Jane, Lil Jaina. Um, what are we doing next, Shawnee? Oh, demo of the show. Can you believe I've gone far? Look at me. <laughs> Check you out. I can't remember which order I did them in, though. Um, this was number one, wasn't it? So that was number one. So that's um, number one. Yeah. The headband was number two. Excellent. Number three... It... Was the pot? Yes, so it's number three, sorry. The pot's number three. Yeah. And then... Sharon Callis is number five. Excellent. One, two, three, or four. Uh, lots of you saying how much you love that. Bro, Sherry says, so creative. Really smart, says Panda Craft. Gilmore saying, what amazing projects you've done today. Love everything you have come up with. I'm going to give you an opportunity to check your baskets out and get your votes in. So whilst you do that, here's one of our quick buys. Welcome to Crafters TV. 
With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Quick buy. All your crafting must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafters kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick Buy. Get yours now. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our Gold and Platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3-7 to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. The of the show is card number one, Michelle. Oh, this one. Yeah, number one. Oh, thank you very much. There you are. Beautiful. That's one. Yep, brilliant. <laughs> Wonderful. I haven't got to get a look at that there. Uh, right, uh, I'm going to show you this. Uh, it is the uh, 57 Sheets of Foam Collection, which is awesome. Here it comes. 31964580, which is this one just here. So you're going to get in here lots of different collections. 12 sheets of the holiday hues, which is this one here. You've also got the autumn hues. This one here is your spring hues. You've got your floral bouquet. This is going to be perfect for Easter, this collection, I'm thinking. You've then got your foliage greens and you've got your whites in there as well. 3196 or 4580, which is brilliant. We also have the stamens for you. Four different collections of them here. So you've got the metallics. And you've also got the floral bouquet. You've also got this one here, which is your natural white. And you've got the black in there as well, which is brilliant. 1795 there on that one. You've got the ball tools uh, in this particular collection. This is great because you've got the flower form and ball tools and then you're getting the petal distress tool free of charge. So different sizes, these are much bigger than something like a parchment tool. They are specifically designed for your flowers. And then you're gonna get the, this is called a lot of things, the finger clog, 
Uh, I've called it before, the finger toboggan is what Ben calls it. It's actually a petal distress tool. So you've got these texture lines, all these ridges on here, and then you just run this across and it gives you texture on your flower, which is awesome. Uh, 11 dollars if you are a Platinum member. Star of the show has been this collection here, the spring collection. Let me share with you the dyes that you are getting in here. So you're gonna get you're gonna get five dyes in this particular one actually. The delicate crocus, you're also gonna get the elegant ranunculus and the hydrangea garden. Then you've also got in here the peony and the clover. Two sets of the foam in here and you'll also get the stamens that are down the front there as well. I think Michelle's got a few bits she'd like to share with us uh, that have been made using this particular collection. I do, yeah, just to see, uh, just to show you the kind of things that you can you can make. So using that white foam, just, Beautiful. they really do pop with the white ones, definitely. And then, so we've got those on there. And again, um, beautiful to just um, make whatever it is. So putting your flowers around, it's really made that um, a focal piece on your card. And then I love this one. It's just adorable, it's that adorable, one. So that's yeah. those um, crocusts, is that how you say it? Um, and then this is the ranunculus. So just a nice small card with just um, an edgeable on there and then just one. So that's used the um, stencils as well on that. So that's used the stencils as well on that to make it a nice big focal point. So just that one flower on there looks beautiful. But then again, just that one flower on this one really just makes it pop. So beautiful dyes, those definitely. Really, really lovely. Fifty nineteen sixty seven ninety five. If you want to get that, uh, a saving of sixteen pounds, uh, just over twenty two dollars, which is brilliant. Uh, you will get double points on that, alongside everything else uh, on the where on the warehouse. No, on the website <laughs> here on Crafters TV, uh, and also up until the end of tomorrow, which is brilliant. So it's double points weekend that we are doing for you. Mary says all the projects have been gorgeous, Michelle. They really show the diversity of what you can do with the flowers and plants. Now remember, two hours time, myself and Michelle will be back with an incredible craft house for you, featuring lots of different nature's garden collection. I've got the farmhouse on there, Secret Garden is super, super busy, you guys. Loving that. It's the biggest collection I've seen in a while, actually, for that um, Secret Garden. So make sure you join us both for that. Right, Michelle, it was an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Uh, see you back here in a couple of hours. Yes, absolutely. See you then. See you then. Uh, right, we'll see you back here for Craft House. You've got a couple of hours. We're going to go have a gossip and some dinner, and we'll see you back here soon.